Hi, guys. Um, thanks for joining us. One of the uh, reasons why I decided to do this topic for this webinar today is because a lot of the customers that we visit who are using Rational Team Concert are using work items or they are using the work, work items in RTC with source control. But maybe only about 20% of the customers that we go visit are using work items with source control with also the um, with also the builds component. And the builds component is really powerful, as we'll see in just a few minutes as I get into this. We'll see how it's very tightly coupled and very tightly integrated with the source code component, as well as with the work items. And regardless, even if you're not using the work items and the source code component, the builds component can still be useful to you. So what we're going to focus on today is uh, I'm going to give you guys a Jazz Build Engine overview, talk through what the JBE is, how the Jazz Build Engine works, what continuous integration is, and how it works as well. And then I'm going to get into the specific benefits and the specific uh, details of how to use each of these build benefits in the list. And then at the end, I'll talk about some alternate use cases that maybe even if you're not using RTC source code, you may still be able to use the RTC builds for something meaningful. So we'll get into all of that as we go today. Um, one of the things that a lot of people are starting to work on is uh, continuous delivery. The first step to getting to continuous delivery where your integrations or your deliveries really hopefully are very simplistic and easy is to get yourself to continuous integration. Continuous integration essentially is where you, your developers, when they make a change, they automatically do some unit testing against it. When they deliver it, it integrates it with their teammates, and then unit tests that, that uh, integrated code. And then the next step is you can actually essentially promote that to the next level of integration where it goes and gets maybe some functional testing that gets completed automatically. And then maybe after that it does full system testing automatically. And then only after it has tested all of those different pieces does it then get itself ready to be delivered to a customer having automatically passed through all those levels of testing. So that's continuous delivery where you propose you do the first step, which is continuous integration, some simple unit testing after delivery, and then you promote it up through the rest of the test life cycle. Continuous integration, though, depends on having a continuous build server ready to go, looking for changes, finding out if there are changes or are not changes, and then either building if it needs to change or not building. And part of continuous integration is after that build is complete, running unit test and making sure that the unit test completes as well. And that unit test then goes into the either pass or fail component. So the benefits here is that you find problems early and also developers get immediate feedback. So when I make a change, instead of waiting until the nightly build completes to find out if, if my change corrupted the system, I find out hopefully within just a few minutes or as long as the build takes. Some of the traits here is that for continuous integration to actually work, the automatic builds need to happen as soon as the developer finishes their work. So upon delivery, kick off an automatic build, have that build then perform automated unit testing, and then report the results back to the developer in a reasonable amount of time. So it gives the feedback to, to the developers relatively fast on delivery success or failure, you can also trace exactly which delivery caused the build to fail. And it really gives you specifically faster feedback so that you can actually fix the builds faster. Uh, another trait that